Cold loving bacteria, a shocking discovery, and the craziest mode of transportation ever. I'm John P, and you're watching Geek Beat. Engage. I can tell. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Audible. So yesterday I actually upgraded the drive in my 27 inch iMac from the stock hard drive to an SSD. At first I was a little scared because you have to take the screen off and disconnect all sorts of cables and things, but I followed the guide on iFixit and it was a lot easier than I expected. Bonus, the drive is now 250% faster. And of course you could even make it much faster than that. Anyway, if you have an iMac, I highly recommend upgrading it. And I documented everything you need to know over on my blog at onemansblog.com forward slash iMac SSD. Put it right there, Dave. Enough of that. Today is all about you guys. I found all of this awesome stuff right over in our Geeks Plus community on Google Plus. If you haven't joined yet, geekbeat.tv forward slash geeks will get you there. First up, Paul Dixon found the Razor Extra Large Crazy Cart Drifter. I, I want one. What else can you say? They've been making a small version which will hold people up to 140 pounds, but I need the jumbo size mode. Can't you just see me driving around in this new building on the drop cams? Just, oh. We'll call it John Cata. Just when I thought my daily lust needs were full, Paul also whipped out this bad boy. It's a 3D metal welding printer. Genius! It just takes a normal MIG welder and within a 3D space it builds up metal in whatever shape you want. That's actually a technique that some metal artists use. I called it deposition welding, where you don't actually weld sheets of metal together, but instead you just use weld filler material. Entire sculptures can be made this way, and they're very unique. Maybe I should make one uh, on a stop motion video to show you guys how it works. It's pretty fun. Moving on, Tom Lombardo found this power generating suit. It's made of resilient, lightweight, and inexpensive 3D fibers with piezoelectric properties. Flexible piezoelectric fibers can generate electricity by harnessing the energy created by an impact or movement. For example, a footstep on a carpet, then converting that mechanical energy into electrical power. With pressures of only about 14 and a half PSI, the material generates up to five microwatts per square centimeter. That's enough to power small wearable sensors and low power personal electronic devices. Imagine covering a large floor area with power generating carpet and storing it for later use. Could be a great alternative source of energy. You know, I'm thinking that if we can get that power suit going and line the pockets with Qi chargers, we'll be able to drop our phone in a pocket and just have it charging as we walk around. Of course, if you're walking around, you probably need some entertainment. And that's where Audible comes in. If you're gonna be hiking around for like 15 hours, you could download the unabridged version of 12 Years a Slave, narrated by Lewis Gossett Jr. Maybe you'd rather try for something a little more geeky. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin should do nicely. Or you could spend nearly 35 hours listening to the entire Hunger Games series. <laughs> Just head to audiblepodcast.com forward slash geekbeat and get you one of these or any other audiobook for free when you sign up. While we're on the subject of listening to entertaining things, Rami shared this printer, which was programmed to play Eye of the Tiger.
I had to go run up and down some steps after hearing that, and I punched somebody in the eye. You ain't so bad. You ain't so bad. You ain't so bad. You ain't nothing. Come on. You must be crazy or something. The key to eternal life might just be found in bacteria, at least according to an article Charles Jefferson found. Recent studies have shown that some cyrophiles. Psychrophiles, I don't know, technical speak for cold loving bacteria, are able to maintain basic metabolic functions at sub zero temperatures. Researchers now have shown that one bacteria, Psychobacteria articus, can repair its DNA at temperatures as low as negative 15 degrees centigrade or 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Moreover, it can do so 100,000 times faster than damage occurs from the UV radiation constantly bombarding us from space. In related news, I'll be selling Psychobacter Articus Berry Milkshakes as a Fountain of Youth diet supplement. You can back my Kickstarter project at http colon forward slash forward slash no I won't dot com. And finally, in our shocking news of the week, Jason Wynn has uncovered super classified, yet for some reason publicly released U.S. Air Force documentation showing that a mild electric shock can be as good of a stimulant as caffeine. <laughs> so the next time you're driving down the road feeling a little sleepy, just pull out the taser and let her rip. Then being tired will be the last of your worries. <laughs> You can see the full videos and get links to the articles in today's show notes at geekbeat.tv forward slash 804. I'm John P. for Geekbeat TV. Thumbs up on YouTube. See you next time.